do you still use NFC actively in your house? Yes. So um, I had some NFC stickers. Well, I have an, one of my favorite ones actually is an NFC sticker by my garage door on the outside. So when I ride my bike from work, um, I get home and if I do have an automation to automatically open the garage door based on, you know, a whole bunch of conditions matching that day. But for whatever reason, if the location hasn't updated in time or if I'm outside and I've got groceries, I can just tap my phone against the NFC card on the garage door and the garage door will open. Um, and, you know, it know, it's authenticated because it's me. I'm signed into the Home Assistant app. Um, and my daughter uses NFC cards now. For, she uses AI to tell jokes, um, you know, tell, them, tell me a funny joke. Um, she's using it to turn off and on her um, lights. So she's got Philips Hue lights in the room. Um, her down lights, you know, she can, she's got, gives her more control, right? And she loves the, the satisfying little beep that the NFC reader makes when she taps her card. Um, heaven forbid that beep is turned off by default and I get a power failure and it doesn't beep, then I get feedback very quickly. Now, so what do you use for NFC? What's your go-to for tech? Because you mentioned a beep. I'm like, I, I just, I've done the stickers in my phone and that's all I've done. Mm -hmm. So I've had these for years now. There was a um, home assistant community member, um, Adono. Um, he created just using ESP32 devices um, and he created like a 3D printed, it's all open source. I can add some links in the show notes. Um, it was all open source, um, 3D printed molds um, with a NFC tag reader from ESP32. And then I'll just buy a cheap NFC tags from like stickers from AliExpress or the like, you know, credit card size tags. I think I got a 50 odd um, off AliExpress. Um, and they just tap on that little NFC box, which I did have somewhere around, but I must have in my, I somehow cleaned up my desk and don't have it here anymore. I know. I'm, uh, I'm looking for mine too. I'm like, <laughs> I was going to ask for a point, but it's, I, yeah. well, I mean, but the point is, Phil, Phil inspired me. I can't find it, but Phil inspired me to do something similar. So I took one stuck it on my, uh, you know, the number pad thing for your garage, uh, stuck it on there, whatever. Uh, it lasted a week before it fell off. And I was like, all right, I'm done with this. <laughs> that was it. You, you Cause there's two ways to use NFC, right? There's one where there's a, a physical NFC reader in situ, right? So you have the card. The other way is that you've got the sticker and you are then reading that sticker around the room. Um, both have their pros and cons, right? Like, so when I've got this ESP32, I know that if I'm scanning, um, so for example, my daughter has a card to change the lights to pink, right? If she taps it in her room, I know, okay, she wants the pink lights in that room. Now, when my son gets a little bit older, he'll have an ESP device in his room. She can take that card and put it into his room and then it will know based on which tag read has been scanned to change the lights in that room. You can't necessarily do that when you're scanning it with your phone. Oh my gosh, you just gave me a project, dude. That sounds so fun. <laughs> 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 not, well, not, it, but, it, but it's what it's what you said earlier right chuck it's it's about how can you take this thing make it less of a project and more exciting fun like yeah. like, like lightning like like it, it's it's just keep it light right like it's uh oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with halloween right like um you know yeah. like make some games out of you know maybe um instead of make some nfc cards that look like playing cards or something and if someone lifts one up and taps it somewhere or puts it in the right spot um takes an action and you know, a skeleton moves or <laughs> smoke machine the, turns on the, right like, the, the other thing you can do Ch uh, chuck is because you have the whole phone setup uh deal have a red like a you know your the, the presidential red phone kind of thing <laughs> and any critical notifications go to there right and obviously you'll have it across any smart speakers and phone and whatever but if it hasn't been responded to just ring that off the hook until someone <laughs> picks it up. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah, you're giving me so many ideas. I, I'm ruined now. Um, it's <laughs> dormant. You're welcome. <laughs> now, I've got to, now I've got to implement so many things. Um, that's right. And that's that's the the crux of it. Like I, I mentioned earlier, like it, it feels like magic because it is. Like we can literally do anything we want with our houses. We can make anything happen, and that's just cool to have that kind of power to be able to tinker with anything. It's addicting. Mm -hmm. 